Good evening, I'm Heidi Paxson. And I'm Alex Loroff. Thanks for joining us. Hundreds of pages of documents have been released involving the Chippewa County Board's investigation into Sheriff Travis Hakes. WEAU's Eleanor Bland has been digging through those 600 pages all day now and spoke with Sheriff Hakes, who continues to discredit the board's investigation. There's definitely some discrepancies in, in some of it um, that seem to paint a one-sided picture. One of the concerns addressed in the investigation includes Sheriff Hake's involvement in a high-speed chase from October 2023. Sheriff Hakes became involved in the chase and reached speeds over 100 miles per hour. He said he got involved because no other management staff was working. However, law enforcement involved in the chase said there was a sergeant on duty and told the investigation that Hakes was not asked to join the pursuit. The report also states that Hakes continued to keep his job as a real estate agent after being elected sheriff and spoke to at least three employees under him about house sales while on duty. Hakes claims he did not solicit his business at the office and when it came up, he offered his services at no cost. Another part of the report says some employees who provided information stated concerns of retaliation by Sheriff Hakes. On another occasion, Hakes discussed what he called a multi-layer approach to preventing a threat to the Chippewa County Courthouse from being executed. But deputies close to the case told investigators that the sheriff was not involved in the actual planning or apprehension of Harley Alcala, the man charged in the threat. The investigation concluded that there was substantial evidence of dishonesty by Sheriff Hakes in his responses to the initial report, as well as multiple public statements since September 2023. Hakes says there is no outlook of him leaving his position. I intend on staying here. Um, I intend on rebuilding any relationships that have been damaged by the investigation. I intend on earning back the, any trust that may have been damaged during this investigation. And I am committed to putting our best foot forward. In Chippewa County, Eleanor Bland, WEAU 13 News. Thanks, Eleanor. And a reminder that last week on Tuesday, after a special session, the Chippewa County Board decided to hand this investigation over to the district attorney and cut off communications with Hakes. And we will continue to update you on air and on the web as we learn more about what actions may come after the DA reviews the documents and all 600 pages can be found on WEAU.com.